Homemade bison meatballs from scratch, so easy. Hello, my name is Jersey. Let's get started. I am starting with two packages of bison. That's 1.25 pounds each or two and a half pounds total. I like making a double batch. Diced organic onions from Azure Standard, frozen. I have some garlic sitting in oil. This is sourdough breadcrumbs that I dry and make myself. This is gram masala that I made. Look up there. You can go to the blog and get the free printable recipe. Cayenne pepper, basil, oregano, two farm fresh eggs. For uniformity, I really like using a cookie scoop, but you don't have to. Non-iodized sea salt and the pepper I ground in my grain mill. And a pair of kitchen scissors and food grade gloves. I like to run my scissors under boiling water. I am using my demand on tap water, then I'm gonna dry them off. Let's get started. And along the way, I'm going to show you different ways how I can use these meatballs to make different dinners. Add the two packages of bison. You may choose to get rid of the blood, but I like to keep it in for flavoring. With any ground meat, you do not want to over knead it or handle it. I'm just going to place it in the bottom. Then I'm going to take my gloves off so I can add the rest of the ingredients. I normally never ever use utensils for measuring for making meatballs, but since I want to share this with you, I'm going to try. So I'm going to add a quarter cup of frozen minced onions and I can see that's not enough. I'm going to add another. So that's a half a cup of frozen minced onions. One teaspoon of minced garlic with a little oil. And the sourdough breadcrumbs is sealed. I vacuum seal them and you can hear the air come out. I'm going to start with a third cup of sourdough breadcrumbs. I really don't know until the eggs are incorporated. Sometimes the eggs are very large and I need more. I'm going to do about three quarter teaspoon of sea salt. You can do more or less. I really like my pepper. So I'm going to do almost a full teaspoon. Again, you can use less if you prefer, but I really like that peppery taste no matter what meatball dish I use. About a half a teaspoon of gram masala. Again, I really like that zest and it goes with any type of meatball dish. Half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Dried basil, half a teaspoon. And it's not enough to be overbearing if you decide to use it in a sweet and sour sauce or even another type like Swedish meatballs. Same thing for oregano, dried, half a teaspoon, more or less, it's not overbearing. Gives it just a little bit of flavor. And I always crack my eggs into a bowl, one at a time. Then I will dump it into the meatball mix, crack another one. This way you ensure they are good and fresh. Save those eggshells, look up there. I have a blog full of information how to use them. I'm going to put my gloves back on and gently incorporate all the ingredients together. I'm going to leave this in real time. I'm not going to speed it up. This way you can see actually how little I incorporate this. You don't want to make it tough. You want your meatballs to be very tender and juicy. So here we go. Listen to the music in real time. I'm going to show you my setup. I'm going to put the bowl over here, use my food grade gloves, my cookie scoop. I'm going to put this on my ungreased carbine steel heavy griddle. I use it for everything. It usually goes on my chambers. I'm going to fill this whole tray up. I know they will all fit. I have my oven set at 350 degrees and I have some bison marinara slow cooking. I just scoop, level off, Put it on with the flat part of the meatball facing down. The less I handle them, the more tender they will be, in my opinion. I 
I baked them in the oven at 350, 12 to 15 minutes. You don't want to over bake them. Less is better. I like to remove them immediately and place them on a cooling rack with a tray underneath to catch the grease. And this is a cooling rack that I made with and without power tools. You can watch the video or you can head on over to the blog. I have the full cut sheet and material list for making this. What a great gift. You can put anything on this, even half gallon canning jars. It will not sag or bend or you don't have to worry about cracking your jars if they're hot. You can place these on paper towels or a tea towel. You can knock the fat off if you want. I never do. It gives it flavor. Bison has less fat than chicken, so I leave it on and I enjoy the extra flavor. And here's what's left over. It is not a lot at all. What I like to do is scoop it up, put it into a jar, put it in my refrigerator, and then when I fry my venison or a lean steak, but most of all, I really like to fry cubed organic potatoes in it what a flavor and it's better than adding any kind of oil in my opinion and i add a little sauteed onions and we are good to go it makes the best hash brown potatoes and i do not pour the grease down the sink if i'm not going to use it and this is how i store my meatballs i take a piece of food grade wax paper i divided this in thirds i got about 70 meatballs so i'll put a third on the wax paper fold it in half and then wrap it and wrap it again with saran wrap and then put it in a plastic food grade freezer bag and put it in my freezer and i like to use my food saver extension i call it to remove all the air from the breadcrumbs just make sure the rim and lid are clean i usually do it about 15 20 seconds and it's good to go and as promised here are some of my favorite ways to use these meatballs for tonight's dinner will be spaghetti and meatballs and tomorrow's dinner will be baked spaghetti and meatballs using tonight's leftovers so easy just add some extra mozzarella meatball egg rolls are a game changer i love them and i have 50 pounds of yellow potatoes that i got from azure standard i will just throw some of these meatball in and make a soup yum and now that the holidays are coming up you can make a spicy meatball appetizer there's so many good recipes out on the web same as meatball cocktails you can put them on a little stick and use them as hors d'oeuvres that's a great idea and so easy to do now for comfort food i love sweet and sour meatballs i serve them over homemade egg noodles or rice or even with mashed potatoes on the side swedish meatballs with egg noodles oh my I, it is a game changer in our home and i just love it so easy to do you can also save that fat to make the gravy and my favorite i saved for last meatball parm that actually was the first meal that my husband and i had on our very first date thank you for stopping by please like please comment please share and subscribe and hit that bell for all notification and this is jersey saying see you on the next video